As we wrap up Labor Day weekend, we head right into midterm election season. While neither President Biden nor former President Trump are on the ballot in November, they're rallying their parties before the midterms. Siafa Lewis joins us with more on President Biden's speech tonight in Pittsburgh. Siafa, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. We are now less than 64 days away from November 8th. That, of course, is the date of this year's pivotal midterm elections. Here in Pennsylvania, a new governor will be elected that could decide women's reproductive rights in the state, and a new senator will be sent to Washington that could determine the balance of power in the Senate. And that is why the two men who ran for president in 2020 visited the Keystone State. President Joe Biden made a pit stop in Pittsburgh Monday to celebrate union workers on Labor Day, but also to warn of what he calls Republican extremism led by Donald Trump. This is not your father's Republican Party. This is a totally different party, man. His predecessor, Trump, called Democrats extreme on Saturday night while campaigning for Republican gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastriano and senatorial candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz. Two months from now, the people of Pennsylvania are going to fire the radical left Democrats. To help understand just how much of an impact national political figures have on statewide races, we spoke to Al Schmidt, president and CEO of the nonprofit and nonpartisan organization, Committee of 70. It may not, you know, necessarily in and of itself drive more people to vote, but of people who will vote, it makes sure they know it's important. Emphasizing the election's importance, both parties hope drives turnout. And more often than not, if you win turnout, your chances of winning dramatically improve. Midterm elections are frequently a referendum on the sitting president. The party opposite the president benefits. But this year isn't normal because the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe versus Wade may change the calculus altogether. Another reason that Biden, who also has several legislative wins which his supporters may be happy about is on the campaign trail and focusing on Pennsylvania. It's about time we stand up and remember who in God's name we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity. Lieutenant Governor and Democratic Senatorial Candidate John Fetterman also spoke briefly at that event, hitting Dr. Oz as being out of touch. We reached out to Dr. Oz's campaign for comment, but we have not heard back. Siafa Lewis, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. Yuki. Siafa, thank you. Eyewitness News will be with you every step of the way leading up to the midterms. We have a complete voter's guide on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.